I think you got what it takes, kid. But this can be a tough town to get ahead in, so we're gonna need to get you some great headshots. And the only way to get great headshots is to find a great photographer. And take it from me, in a city as oversaturated as Los Angeles, finding a great photographer can be quite the challenge. So what do I do? Well, like I said, it all starts with finding a great photographer. And remember, headshots aren't free, but they don't have to cost an arm and a leg either. But do a little research. Make a list of photographers who come highly rated. Find some in cities you're willing to travel to around LA. Then narrow down your options by checking out their portfolios online. Make sure you don't review their portfolio from a smartphone. Use a desktop monitor. The bigger the screen, the better. Small phone screens can make almost any photo look decent. Narrow your options even more by checking out their rates and cut out those you can't afford. Then make some phone calls. Get on the phone with a couple of the photographers and see what they're like. Verify things like rates and whether or not retouches are included. And while you have them on the phone, ask them about their process. Getting into stuff like what kind of gear they use matters. But what if I don't know anything about camera gear? Don't worry about it, kid. Your main goal is to see if they sound like they know what they're doing. Also, ask them about how they deliver the photos, how many photos you get, and so on. You should also ask if they can take care of commercial and theatrical photos for you. Depending on the roles you're after, you might need both. Get studio headshots first. Later, if you want to add to your portfolio, you can add some natural light shots. Studio shots are just cleaner. Oh, also, be sure you get print quality files and web optimized files. Will do. You might want to print some headshots and you definitely need to post them online. Your photographer should know how to get these different file types to you. Let's see, what am I forgetting to tell you? Well, what should I wear to my headshot session? That's right, kid. What should you wear? Whether you're a man or a woman, keep it simple. Solid colors that complement your skin, hair, or eye colors are good. Avoid plaids, stripes, and busy logos. Basically, you don't want to wear anything that takes the focus off your face. Also, makeup and retouching photos are totally okay. After all, you'll get makeup on most shoots anyway. Just don't overdo it, kid. Stay authentic. And remember, if your look changes, you'll need to update your headshots. This is stuff like changing your hair color, hair length, etc, etc. We covered a lot, but we only scratched the surface, kid. So if you want to do a deep dive on this to really be sure about your headshots, read the article on Daily Actor that inspired this short. The link is in the description. You're on your way now, kid. Now get out there and make us proud.